Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Mario bringing you guys another video and today we're going to be doing a different type of video. Today's video is going to be about um, how to make like YouTube channel art, YouTube banners. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit of what I mean. So you can Google um, YouTube, uh, I don't know, YouTube channel art and uh, you're going to see a bunch of different, um, you know, you're going to see a bunch of different like channel arts. Uh, let me see where I can show you. So something like this would be YouTube channel art. It would be a banner that you use for your um, YouTube channel. Um, as you can see, it says your name, official channel, and it's got all these things on here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make your own and uh, use it for your YouTube channel. And it's going to be free and easy to do. So let me go ahead and first show you guys the website that I'm going to use. So for this video, we're going to be using Pixlr Editor. So if you don't have Photoshop, Adobe, from whatever, you, all those different softwares, this is going to be the one for you guys. Um, Pixlr is one I've been using for a while now. So what you want to do is um, go to the link down below. I'm going to be putting it down below. Um, but if not, if you don't want to click on the link, you know, just for whatever reason, and you can or something, uh, you can always uh, search up Pixlr, and it always comes up as one of the first ones here. So you would just click on Pixlr, uh, and then this is what's going to come up on your first screen. It's going to show you this. Um, you're just going to see... You're not going to really know what to press on. So there's going to be like two different, there's going to be actually three different types of Pixlr um, softwares you can use, but right here there's only two. As you can see, you can do Pixlr Express or Pixlr Editor. In my case, if you want to edit and make your own channel art, you're going to click on uh, Pixlr Editor. So you're going to go ahead and click on it. But since I already have it here, let's just close this one. And um, so yeah, let's go ahead and begin this tutorial. So what you're going to want to do, guys, is first of all, go to YouTube. Um, I mean, you could even go on Google. Um, just you could look up uh, YouTube channel art template, PSD. Uh, it doesn't even have the PSD. Um, you can just get rid of the PSD part. Um, just look for a channel art template and uh, look for something like this. This is what's going to help you. Um, these, this is going to help you right here. This is going to really like start like uh, the boundary and what you can use or not. Um, I think I already have one saved, so I'm going to go ahead and come over here to open image. And uh, let me show you guys how that looks. So once you press open image, it's going to come up a little file up here on the top. And it's going to show you all these different, all your different photos, everything you have saved on here. Uh, me, I have mine saved right here as channel art template. And it's going to come up as this. So let me give you guys a little brief tutorial on pretty much this whole website and how to use all these tools and different stuff. So if you're using a mouse, you can use your scroll, scroll wheel to sh uh, zoom in and zoom out. But if you're not using a mouse or maybe you just got one of those touch pads, you could also use this to zoom in and out. Um, this is going to help you a lot because you, know, you don't want to get too close. But if you do want to get really good in detail, you can also click that. Um, this is um to allow you to like crop a photo so like if you only want this part this little box right here you can crop it with this so you can do that and uh, you got this you just click on the outside and it says do you want to apply any changes you're gonna um, if you want to keep it you can keep it but in my case I'm gonna say no because I don't want to change it um, this is just a tool that lets you move around uh, like different items um, I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit in the in the in the like more in the video but it's it's a good tool to use if you really need to change stuff this right here allows you to make different shapes uh, just to select different shapes if you want to make a circle you can go ahead and make a circle with that this here is a lasso tool most people know what this is um, if you want to make like shapes but you don't want it to be um, you know straight and stuff like that you can also do that um, I like to use this lasso tool where you can like make your own stuff like this and then you put it all together and you got this and you can like fill it and stuff but uh, yeah that's an, um, that's something good to use if you're like cutting out a background of someone's picture this is a, a wand if it can get rid of a background um, most people use this if you have like a white background and um, that's pretty much the f most four you're gonna want to use but also a brush and paint but um, paint bucket but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that later and also the text tool but for now let's go ahead and get started with this so the first thing you're gonna want to do for your channel art is you're gonna want to maybe go on Google and search up um, I don't know just like black and uh, what should come up oh it didn't, it didn't clear it all out 
Oh, well, that's not what I was looking for. <laughs> just search a black and, uh, you know, like something like this should come up a black little uh, wallpaper, something like that. But I already have one saved. So we're going to go ahead and come over on file once you've saved it. You're going to click file, open image. And once again, this little screen is going to pop up. You're going to want to open it up if you need to. Um, right here, I have it saved as black P and JP, JPEG. And uh, it's going to come up as this new little uh, folder, this new uh, tab. So what you're going to want to do is bring it down here. And just come over here to this part where it says layers, background. And just click and drag it to here. And now you can get rid of this background and do that. So you guys are going to be wondering, why did I do this? Um, well, the reason you wanted to do this is because you want to come over to edit. And then once you go to edit, go to free transform. Free transform allows you to change this uh, to different shapes. So let me go ahead and show you. If you want to make this bigger or smaller, you could either hold shift and it'll make a perfect uh, shape. But if you don't want to hold shift and let's say you let go of shift, it's going to make whatever shape you want. So for our case, we don't really, it doesn't really matter if it's perfect or not. So we're going to make it pretty big like that. And you're going to want to move it up so that way it's just covering this top part right there where that line meets. I just cover that top part. And then you're going to click on the outside and you're going to click yes. So this is what's going to happen. It's going to show you this layer and um, it's going to be covering the top part. And we're going to do the same thing. But here I'm going to show you guys um, what this is. This is the layer. Um, this is where it shows you all your layers and everything. You're going to have a lot of stuff here, so you're going to want to move down your history and make it easier for you. And also, don't forget to label. So you can you can label um, you can label it black and then top, just so you remember that that's the top one. Even though you can see a picture, it still helps the label. So what we're going to do is make a copy of this. So you're going to right click and you're going to click duplicate layer. And so it should come up here as black top label um, copy get rid of black top and name it black bottom and you don't have to change it but I mean you could it's also helpful if you don't but you don't have to so it's your choice but you're gonna want to bring it um, you're gonna want to go back to edit edit and let me go ahead and do that again you're gonna want to go to edit free transform once again and bring it down and also make this image a bit bigger and do the same thing we did with the top now click on the outside of this square and it's going to ask you, do you want to apply changes? You're going to put yes. Now, as you can see, we have these two layers right here. And it's covering the top and bottom. And we just have this centerpiece open. So now that we have this centerpiece open, you get to like mess around and make your own art. So what I usually like to do is um, I usually like to go to the paint bucket. And um, it lets you, lets you change the background and stuff. So what I do is I get rid of this by... Um, I don't get rid of it but I just turn it off so that way nothing happens I come over to the background and I double tap or double left click this um, lock which unlocks it and allows you to change this background so let's say I want to change my color you would click on this here and this is gonna allow you to change your color to whatever you like now as you can see Pixlr has a shit ton of colors pretty much every color in the book um, you can come here and change any color you'd like now for this um, sake I'd like to do maybe like a purple and do something like that so now we have our paint bucket selected and we have our color over here is the tolerance and as you can see it's a default at 21% um, if you click on it with the 21% this is what's gonna happen it's not gonna get the whole picture so what you wanna do is you wanna open uh, make this tolerance very much higher and you're going to want to click on it again and now it's going to get everything in the picture so now we have our purple background and um, this is going to help you guys you know just to get in like a nice little background color and you can put back these black and tops um, top and bottoms <clears throat> so this is going to like pretty much be your starting picture so if you want you can go on google and search up uh, gfx I know, gfx and uh, make it easier for you guys it'll show you a bunch of these little these cool things um, you know some people already made stuff so this is like someone's already template um, but you could always look at the other ones uh, something like this looks pretty cool I guess 
Um, I'm not going to use it because it's got a, a watermark and I kind of don't want to get in any legal issues if anything ever does happen. But I mean, it's YouTube, like nothing really happens. So something like this looks pretty cool. It looks nice. It's got a little white. It's got this. I mean, you can always use something like this and there's always cool recommended stuff. So if like, you find something you really like, but you're just like, no, I don't think I can use that. Uh, check clicking on all the recommended. So this one I think is pretty cool. I can work with this. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and save image as and try to save it as something you can remember. So remember it as like purple clouds. So purple clouds is going to be something for me to remember. remember uh, always save it in a file. You know where you're going to be able to save it. I usually keep it in thumbnail help because that's just the name I've had. And um, it doesn't matter what it is, JPEG. Um, always try to keep it on JPEG or PNG. So I'll go ahead and press save. And it should come up down here, but we don't really need it. So we're going to click on this tab again and go ahead. And this is we're going to click on file, open image. And now we're going to scroll down to that same picture, purple clouds. We're going to double click on that. And it's going to show us this again. So as you can see, it's purple and purple. It's going to match pretty well, I think. Um, but let me show you guys what's going to happen. So what I do here is I do edit, free transform, and I come back over to this. And um, I like to hold shift and also move this at the same time. So it's a perfect uh, perfect um, like opening. And it doesn't look all messed up and distorted. So you could always make it whatever size, put it however you like. I think I want it to be a bit bigger and I would also like it to be maybe something like that so that way it's got a little bit of brightness up here and up here it gets a little darker I could always bring it down just a bit more if I like guys if you're if you're doing this like mess around with it don't be afraid about mess around and uh, do what you like so we're gonna click on the outside again and press save and or press yes so it's going to show us this. You're going to say, wow, what was the point of putting this layer if we're just going to get rid of it? You know? So what you want to do is you want to click on this one and uh, make sure it's clicked on it because it'll have this uh, blue little outline right here rather than all the other ones. And you're going to want to come over to this, which is like an adjustment tool. You could always bring down the opacity if you like, something like that. But here are the different types of um, overlays you can do. So if you want to leave it on normal, which is pretty much it covering this, you can do that. But if you want to do add, add lets you, I don't know what it does, but it does something that looks pretty cool. Um, I usually just like to mess around with all these different ones. And if it does, it won't save guys, so don't worry. So like if you click on it and you're like, wow, that looks ugly, I don't want that. You can always go back to normal and it'll be fine. So just click around with different stuff, make sure it looks cool. You don't have to do the same thing I'm doing, but usually... I like to click on a lot of different stuff and uh, see what it looks like. Sometimes you get just a black thing. See, like that looks pretty cool, but I th I don't think I would use that. Always invert the color if you want, but nobody wants to do that. Layer, um, I don't know what that does, but that does something. Uh, you know, just mess around with everything. It's a pretty cool little tool you can use. I'm gonna go ahead and um, click on different stuff and see what I like. I usually like to do overlay. But in this case, I don't think overlay looks too well. You could always do subtract. Ooh, this looks really cool. Now I'm gonna think. I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it on subtract. And uh, you could always bring it down, up and down the opacity, guys. Uh, always change it if you know, like if you think it looks too dark in a specific area, you could bring down the opacity and it won't look too dark. The reason I like this is because it's got these like little marks right here, and I think that looks pretty dope. So. Don't just use one graphic effects, guys. That's what GFX stands for, by the way. Don't just use one. Use different ones, like this photo. I don't know if you could tell. It probably used this and then these little circles and this. All these different graphics for just one photo. So don't be afraid to mix match uh, different stuff. So like something like this would probably look really dope. Um, I don't know. I like um, I like it when it has like little particles. Those really help. They make a picture look real nice. Uh, yeah, don't don't be afraid to mess around with it. Do what you want, and um, it always look cool at the end. If you don't like it, you can always redo it. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna find another picture I like, and once I do find one, I'll come back with you guys and I'll show you what I found. All right, guys. So I find myself a picture that I think I like. Um, this is pretty basic. It's got like a nice little clouds. Um, it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and save this. Save image as, 
and uh, I'm gonna save it as um, Galaxy Blue. Just it's probably not spelled right, but I mean that's how I spell it, so it doesn't really matter. So let's press save. Come over here. We're gonna do file, open image again, open this image. Um, I saved it as Galaxy Blue. Now it's a blue color, so blue might not match with purple, but for this case, I'm gonna leave this tab right here by itself. I'm not gonna touch it. I am gonna click and drag it over here. I'm not gonna click the X because I'm gonna leave it there and uh, I'll show you guys why in a bit. So as you can see, it comes up as this little image. Always press um, edit, free transform, and then click and drag, make it bigger. Um, you don't have to do the shift click as I'm doing, but I always do shift just so it's perfect and um, if it does look distorted, um, it doesn't look too bad so let's go ahead and do something like this and we can click on the outside press yes now let's see what it looks like if we do a bunch of different stuff so let's do overlay as the first one so as you can see overlay looks pretty cool I guess um, let's try add oh okay this might get it this might take it add looks pretty cool alpha alpha is not too good um, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part for you guys and um, I'll show you guys once I'm done what I found that I pretty much liked. <coughs> Alright guys, so I found three that I like. Right now I like subtract and also like hard light. But I think hard light is pretty much the same thing. Just a little bit darker. And I also like add. But I think right now... What I'm debating on is either add or subtract, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, but I don't know which one I really want to do. I think I'm probably going to rock with subtract just because this looks more zombie-ish and it looks kind of cool to me. Um, I don't know. I think this looks pretty dope. I'm going to keep this. So this image, um, you could always go back to this image if you saved it or if you didn't click off of it. And you could always mess with it and... Um, like make it look nicer and different so what you can do is with go go over to adjustment change the hue and saturation brightness colors all the different stuff you can do in like regular photo editing so like if you change the hue it's gonna change the color of it saturation is gonna make the color more vibrant lightness is gonna make the brightness higher or lower so that's if you want to change this color so let's say I wanted to change it to purple and maybe to match the background I can look for a purple color like this probably make it more saturated and um, you know I could press OK and you know click and drag it and use it but for me I think this looks fine I'm gonna keep it like that so let's click off that so like if you do make edits on this and uh, you do want to save it you can always save it but for me I think it looks fine the way it was so this is what I'm gonna end up with I think this looks pretty cool I think I'm gonna keep it now what you can do next is always click on um, the text tool or you could even add more effects if you want guys don't be afraid to mess around with it do what you want and I'm gonna go ahead and add a text so let's write um, text here um, actually I'm gonna capitalize it all so I have text here and you can always click and move it around so first what you want to do is make it bigger and sadly on this website, the highest you can do it is 130, which is this size. Um, I don't know why. They should probably make it a little bit more like changeable or adjustable and you know make it a little bit better, but they didn't do that. So that's pretty much what we're going to have to work with. Um, you could always click on this color tab to change the color. I'm going to do a white because I think it looks really nice. And here you can change the font to whatever you like. Um, you could also save a font to your computer and it'll show up here. So like this is one I have saved, York Newsletter. Um, you know, you could always use the different fonts you have. But the one I really like to use, I think, is called, um, I don't remember where it is. It's this one, Wide, Wide Awake. Uh, Wide Awake is pretty cool. I like it. I've always used this one. Um, I think I'm going to use this one just for my edit, just for the sake of the video. Um, but yeah, what's going to happen sometimes is it's going to get cut off. So you, you're going to want to press um, enter or return before. And you're going to want to click it after. 
so that way you can get all of the um, all of the text because sometimes it cuts off this top part and so if you press enter it'll just show it all and you could also change the font uh, like to italic or bold if it, if it allows you to and this is pretty much it um, you could also mess around with it and give it uh, different effects and layer styles um, so what you want to do is make sure you're on this specific layer and come down here to this button and once you click on it it'll bring up this uh, tab right here so you can click on drop shadow if you want to add a drop shadow drop shadow is pretty much this part right here if you want to make it you know like maybe right there or a little bit lower you could always do that uh, make the size which pretty much blurs it out or not me I don't like to blur it out I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that you could also put an outer glow outer glows are pretty cool you can do a black outer glow and uh, make your image or your text stand out more you can bring up the hardness uh, bring up the size if you want it to glow more or be much bigger but for me I think I'm gonna rock with uh, a six outer glow you could always click on it and change it like with your keyboard but for me I'm gonna keep it like that and I think that looks pretty nice so if you always wanna um, you always want to like mess around with that just so it makes it look more better and stands out um, you could also if you want to add like your I don't think I have a picture yeah I have a picture of this so if you want to add a YouTube logo just so people know like to follow you on YouTube you can always put Twitter Instagram anything you want um, but let me show you what I usually do so I usually bring it down and um, you could always free transform it again but make sure when you're doing this try not to do it like freehand and use the shift key and click down with it um, that's gonna help you guys a lot so if you guys want to put like uh, your YouTube like that something like that uh, you know it'll make it easier it's like people to see like oh let me follow I'll follow you on like snapchat or Instagram whatever something like that um, you could always just mess around with this guys do what you want um, let me show you guys this tool right here so this is the moving tool so if you have whatever layer you're on, you could always click on this layer and move it around like that simple. Pretty easy, right? So yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial, guys. Um, you could always change the text to your name or whatever you want. Um, you, you can do whatever you want. This is for your imagination. Do whatever you want. Um, next, I'm going to show you how to save this. So there's many different ways to save this, guys. Uh, first, if you want to save it to your computer, you can do File save and you can save it to my computer or if you sign into a, an account on Pixlr or if you made an account with Pixlr you could always click on Pixlr library and it'll send it to your account on Pixlr but right now I'm gonna save it to my computer first and try to save it as a transparent with full quality because what what it does is it allows people to mess around with it more if you ever want to mess around with it again so you can press OK then it'll come up here and if you can if you want you can change the name of it uh, YouTube um, channel art uh, shit um, channel art like for vid I don't know something like that whatever you want it doesn't matter change save it and then um, it'll be saved to your computer but if you want to like mess around with this if like you're editing and you want to mess around with this and you're like wow um, I want to mess around with this like some other time because I'm busy right now. You can always do file, uh, save, and this is where you're gonna have to make an account. So you're gonna want to click on Pixlr library, and before you've made an account, you should have this like you should have your account ready to do this, and then you're gonna want to click on the format and come down to PXD, which is a layered image. Um, so this oh shit wrong one. So this is gonna allow you to still save it and be able to edit it. And it's gonna be saved to your um, to your Pixlr account, so you're gonna press OK, and it'll take a little bit if it has a lot of files or a lot of uh, layers like mine does. So I just give it a little bit, and uh, once it's done, you can pretty much click off the website and also come back on, and it'll show up, guys. I'll come back once it's done. Okay, well it's done. Well, let me show you guys how to get this picture back. So if you want to open Pixlr up on a new tab again, this is what it's gonna show up as it's gonna show up like this and you're gonna be like how do I get my old photo back you're gonna to wanna to click on open image from library click on new folder or whatever folder you named it as and it's gonna show you all your different uh, templates and stuff as you can see 
I've been doing this for a pretty while, a uh, pretty good while now, and I got a lot of different stuff, but, um, I don't know, I just, uh, I have, like, different stuff that I've saved, and it's all on here, so, like, this is one I have, um, but yeah, so you can pretty much just save it like that, and it's easy for you guys to, like, go back and just edit it again if you didn't like what it looked like. And, uh, yeah, guys, so that's pretty much been the tutorial. If you did like this video, please be sure to leave a like down below. Um, share this with your friends. Be sure to do this, like, with yourself and, uh, make, make your own channel art. Don't be afraid to, like, mess around and make your own stuff. It's gonna be pretty fun. Um, sometimes it's pretty difficult. And, uh, yeah. So let me know if you guys want to see another one of these videos. A little bit, uh, tutorial much, uh, a better tutorial on this. I can go ahead and make another one. I really like doing this. So, yeah, um, the more and more I practice, the more I learn. And yeah, if you guys do like this video, drop a like, share this with your friends, uh, ask for more if you want, don't be afraid to comment down below. Yeah guys, it's been your boy Mario, I hope you guys have a great day, peace.